The video review will start in a few seconds, but as a reminder, remember if you have a question, comment, or suggestion about this video review, the link is provided on the page below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD7870 Ice Q Turbo 2GB GDDR5 video card. First I'll do a quick unboxing as you can see the box itself does look quite nice. A pretty standard looking box though for HIS if you've seen a few of them in the past. Kind of has this uh, icy, cool kind of look. Although there's no pictures of the product on the box, there is lots of features and specifications about it. There are two security seals, one at the top and another one at the bottom. I'll open the one at the top now. I'll take it out and have a closer look. Inside, there's a cautionary note about installing the video card. Notice all the styrofoam keeps it in place. The video card is packaged very well. Below the video card, They include this little packet which has a CD with software and drivers, installation guide, you've got a case badge, crossfire bridge, a DVI to VGA dongle. They also include this support and the whole idea behind this is to support the video card. If for example you're transporting your case, the video card is laying horizontally and at the tail end the video card will bend and this will support it. So that's a great idea because otherwise the video card you know could kind of crack in the PCI slot. So excellent idea. They also include a user's manual for installing it. The video card also comes with this protective plastic. I'll peel that off. Now let me just demonstrate how this works. You can adjust the height. When you get the height right, you then support the video card with this. The bottom part would go on the bottom part of the case. These two pieces pop out. They have a sticky back, you can peel that off, and there's also a magnet at the bottom. This video card has a PCI Express interface of 3, and it's based on the Pitcan core, which is built on the 28 nanometer manufacturing process and has 2.8 billion transistors. Also keep in mind that when it comes to gaming, the 7800 series of video cards are considered mid-range. They've coined the cooler Ice Cube, and it's very impressive. It comes with lots of copper heat pipes, heat sink, and a blower style fan. This fan pulls in cool air and basically pushes it over the many fins on the heat sink and then ports all the heat out the back of the case. So this design works extremely well and they have this design on most of their, you know, mid to high end video cards. Also, the base plate comes in direct contact with not only the GPU, but also the memory. So here you can see that very large aluminum heatsink. Also the base plate, which as I mentioned, comes in direct contact with the GPU and also the memory. Now this fan is quiet, but it's quiet in the 2D mode at around 28 decibels. But when you're gaming or in a 3D mode, well, it's going to get a nice bit louder and I'll demonstrate that a little later on. There are four video card connections, a dual link DVI, HDMI 1.4A connection which fully supports 7.1 channel audio, and two mini display ports. There are two 6-pin power connections and the approximate maximum power consumption is 175 watts, but a very impressive 3 watts at idle. I'd still recommend a quality brand name power supply, especially in a Crossfire configuration. Now since there's only one Crossfire bridge, you can have a maximum of two video cards in a Crossfire configuration. Now this is a nice touch. They include a support bar on the printed circuit board and this is to make the printed circuit board more rigid so it doesn't twist. A great idea considering that the cooler is pretty heavy. Now since this is the turbo version, the core speed is a little bit faster than the default core speed, which is 
one gigahertz but the core speed on this video card is 1.1 gigahertz and the two gigabytes of gddr5 256 bit memory is 4.8 gigahertz ddr it comes with 1280 stream processing units for vertex pixel and geometry data 80 texture units and 32 raster operations the pixel fill rate is 35.2 gigapixels per second the texture fill rate is 88 gigatexels per second and the memory bandwidth is 153.6 gigabytes per second No matter how you swing it, this is an amazing video card. If you're looking for the best bang for the buck video card currently on the market, that will do everything. Game, home theater PC, setups, work, multi-display stuff, everything. This would probably be it. And remember, you can add another one if you want more performance. So you can have a dual crossfire setup if you like. Overall, without a doubt, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.